Okay, right now we're at Chanda's Lakeside, and as you can see, there's some little bars and things like that. It's about noon right now, so I don't think a lot of people will come out. You know, Chinese people usually like to avoid the sun. It's super hot. This is called Sima Lo, which I think means City General's Building. So this is the building of a very famous poet, Liu Yuxi, and he was very famous just like Liu Bai was very famous. Li Bai, sorry, Li Bai. And Tu Fu. So he lived during the Tang Dynasty from 772 to 840. Here's an introduction that's all in Chinese. Okay, this is a very famous essay. Um, and it basically says that it's, a, it, it's almost like a poem. And it's saying, even though my home is destitute, very poor, it has a lot of culture, uh, even though it looks shoddy, there's people coming in with uh, high characters. So every student actually has to memorize this poem because it's talking about character, not talking about wealth. And if you could read Chinese, you could read like, Shan Bu Zai Gao, like the, the mountain is not high, but it has some famous people. And it says here, down here it says, Shui Shen, it means, you know, the water's not deep, but it has dragons inside or dragon spirits. So it's saying physically not great, but morally and culturally it's rich. So this is the famous poet, Liu Yuxi, Liu Yuxi. And he has a very interesting story because he started off really, really well. Um, 19 years old, born in Chang'an, which is today's Xi'an. When he was 24 years old, he actually became the prince's tutor, Taizi the Tang Prince's tutor. But then things changed. I think the, um, the king must have changed or something like that. And then he, get, he got sent away to like smaller and smaller places, even all the way down to Guangzhou. Guangzhou is super far south, so it's like almost being exiled, you know, being sent to the far reaches of the, of the empire. And then you can see here at 40, he went to Yuanzhou. Here he went to, so you can just see his, his life's resume almost. 49 years old, he went back to Luoyang, which is where he's from, and then Kuizhou, uh, that means Chongqing. So Chongqing used to be called Kuizhou. Just an interesting life. He just went all over the empire. And finally, he died, at, I think he died at 71 years old, I think. But he did make it down to the more popular areas after going all the way down to Guangzhou. He came back up to like Suzhou here. So that's good. Good for him. So what you're looking at here is the gate to the Lo Yu Si. Uh, like a, a theme park? Not really a theme park, it's sort of like a city made just for him. They're not finished yet, they're in the middle of constructing it. But uh, it's going to be done maybe this year or next year. And you can come and visit this old-fashioned area just to commemorate a famous poet who was also sort of a government official. So Chinese people really revere their government officials for doing a great job in making China culturally great by writing poetry and writing songs. So here we are at the Sand Park, Changda's Sand Park. Uh, you might notice that uh, Changda is in the middle of China, so obviously there's no ocean here. But they built their own, own little ocean uh, beach by taking sand all the way from Qingdao. So this is Qingdao sand. Very beautiful. And putting it here to create this beautiful scene. And you can even swim over there in the lake. I'm going to go walk in for a little bit. And I'm going to come back to the lake around 4 o'clock when it's a bit more beautiful right now. It's still midday. And uh, no one is out here. There's a line here. And that actually indicates the shallow area for kids. And we even got a dead fish over here. Poor guy. Getting eaten by flies. Let's get in there. Let's enjoy it. Let's see if it's cold or not. What do you guys think? Cold or warm? My toes are free. Let's get in the water, guys. What is it? Cold or not cold? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Oh, it's actually really nice. Wow, that's good. It's, it's warm. How deep should I go, guys? I got my phone in my pocket, so I can't go too deep. I am wearing these workout shorts, so. So yeah, as you can see, I'm actually in the kids area right now. So I'm just up to my knees right now. But look how beautiful this is. Wow. You might actually think you're, you know, in Thailand or something, but you're actually in the middle of China in one of the bi biggest city lakes in China. This is three times the size of Hangzhou's Xihu. Xihu is one of the most famous lakes in China. 
It's Hangzhou City Lake. My friend said the water's a little bit dirty, so I'm not gonna go for a full swim. I got some white feet, guys. Alright guys, so we're in that little area that I told you before, with the RV area, looking out at the beach. Look at all these live animals, guys. Fresh seafood. Just the way Chinese people like it. And a lot of other people like it too. I'm sure not just Chinese people like fresh seafood. Look at all those soft shell turtles. In Chinese, they're called jia yu. And they're a delicacy here in West Hunan. These guys are huge. Holy crap, I've never seen such large crab. This is my hand right there. So it's way bigger than my hand. See that? Way, way bigger. I think it's like a sea slug. This lazy Susan is made out of marble, spicy meat. This looks like meat, but it's actually tofu. Like which means bread and crab. And the top part just looks like a piece of bread. Kidney beans, and you got some dried shrimp here. And the last one is mango. This tofu is excellent. It has the consistency of an egg. There's a lady singing Cantonese. Hello. Hello. You this Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ancient bell, I guess. I don't know. In Chinese, it's called Mao. And you, you strike it to make a sound. And it's about 3,000 years old, up to about 2,300 years old. These characters are from uh, the Chu dynasty, and they're about 2,500 years old. Contemporary Chinese people cannot read it, but the, there's a translation here on the side. So here, you can see the modern Chinese next to the ancient Chinese. The ancient Chinese look so badass. I kind of wish that contemporary Chinese still look like that because it looks amazing. Alien looking vessels are for different liquids, maybe like tea or liquor. So these are the original swords that were dug up. And what's interesting is they're quite small, beautiful jade coins, but they're just beautiful art decor. So, guys, uh, try to guess what this thing is. Take a guess. Well, it's a nighttime peapot. So that you just stick your <laughs> a good part in the in there in that in that hole. And then do your business. And then I guess you could take it out in the morning. Very smart. 